Hi, my name is Ben. I still crave eggnog. They don't have any in the stores. So the only solution is to make it myself, which I have done here. So I'm going to kind of go through the recipe with you. Uh, I found this. This is Alton Brown's recipe, but I've kind of modified it a little bit. Just a little bit. I, not much modifying needed. You just need a couple of ingredients. Nutmeg, heavy cream, whole milk, eggs, sugar. And a third of a cup of whole milk and a third of a cup of heavy cream and I'm gonna put those in a small saucepan set that aside for a second now I need to separate my four egg yolks from my four egg whites once they're good and separated I'm gonna take the egg whites and I'm gonna put them in the fridge and I'm not gonna seal it because I want those to get cold and they're not gonna be there long. In the meantime, I'm gonna take the egg yolks and I'm going to beat them until they're kind of creamy looking. They've turned a brighter yellow. I'm gonna take my sugar. I need a third of a cup of that. Make sure it's a full cup. And then I'm gonna put it inside of the egg yolk and I'm gonna beat that until it's all mixed together doesn't look crazy granulated it's a smooth emulsion now to our cream and milk mixture I'm gonna turn the stove on medium and I'm gonna put it on and I'm just gonna stir it every now and then make sure that the uh, milk and the cream don't stick to the bottom of the pan now this is where I really messed up. I had forgotten my nutmeg. So I put it in at this stage. Now I made this recipe once before off camera and I put the nutmeg in prior. I think that's really what you want to do because the nutmeg this time around didn't fully stay with the mixture. It kind of stayed at the bottom of the pans and at the pots. So even though it looks kind of mixed up right now, uh, as I go further on, I feel like I lost a lot of my nutmeg flavor. So, just thought. I'm gonna mix this whole thing until it comes to a boil. And then at that point, I'm going to uh, keep mixing it and stirring it while it's simmering, bring the heat down a little bit. Uh, until it, you know, gets a little toasty in the flavor. Just a little bit, not too much. Now once it's come to a boil and it's gone for a while, I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to keep stirring it uh, just to let it kind of cool down a little bit because I'm going to add it to my eggs, which I want to kind of stir back up, make sure that it's still a good mixture. And then I'm going to slowly pour this hot milk cream mixture in with my eggs. Uh, you know, not enough at a time that it cooks my eggs, but enough that they mix together nicely and... Uh, it's looking pretty good right now. It's actually starting to look like eggnog. I'm gonna put it back in the pan and heat it up a little bit. Just kind of cook the egg, make it make it into a nice cooked custard. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg because, like I said, I'm losing a lot in the bottom of the bowls. Uh, so I feel like I just want to add more for flavor at this point. Now, once this is heated just under simmering, uh, I'm going to remove it from heat, I'm going to put it inside of a bowl, and I'm going to put that bowl inside of the fridge. I am going to put a covering on the custard because I don't want a film to form on top. Out of the fridge comes my egg whites, and close the fridge door. There, there. Okay. But I got to take my egg whites and turn them into a meringue. So what's happening here, I gotta beat the egg whites until they got a lot of foam in them. And the more foam they have, the smaller the bubbles, the more the protein of the egg whites is gonna help support it. I need to make stiff peaks. And that basically means when I lift my whisk out of the bowl that the meringue that I'm creating actually forms a peak, like a mountaintop. So uh, it's 
I left this footage in. Probably don't need all of it, but it's kind of fun to see the egg turn into the meringue over time. Every now and then I'm checking it just to see. So it's not quite there, it's still kind of flopping over, not making a stiff peak, but it is kind of forming peaks. So I'm going to do it just for a little longer, whisk, whisk, whisk away. There you go, that's the stiff peak that I want. Look at that. Very satisfying and springy. So now I need to take my custard mixture and add this meringue to it and the original recipe calls for me to fold the meringue in I'm gonna take a more classic approach with this and I'm going to flip it between two bowls uh, and just slowly break all that up yeah it looks real appetizing right now uh, but eventually it's gonna all get broken up in there all the meringue will get bro broken up and it's gonna become fluffy and light. It's a little messy process. Ah, look at that. That's what we want it to look like. A lot smoother. So we just need our mug. Pour that in, there you go, so the camera can see, okay, all, all right, nope, no, no one can see that, okay, nice, nice, beautiful, no mess. It looks almost presentable, add a little nutmeg on top, for flavor, and, you know, look, beautiful. Let's take a sip. Delicious. Now we need to add a little bit of Myers rum. Make sure to always measure. Drink responsibly. Fantastic. This actually was really good. Um, I ended up filling up my mug again. And uh, now I actually have some. They say you're supposed to shake it before you serve it, traditionally. And I've never done that from the store bought versions. Supposedly makes it a lot better. There we go. I really, uh, this ends up having a lot of nutmeg flavor after it's sat for a few days. It kind of picks it up in the cream. So I wonder if you wanted it stronger, if you didn't put the nutmeg in before you started cooking everything if you put it in maybe a few hours before or even a day before to the milk and cream mixture and just let it set ah oh, it truly is spectacular i've drank so much eggnog this season now that i know how to make it at home i think it's a little dangerous for myself so i'm gonna try and have that be my last glass for a long time but I will be referencing this video when I make my own eggnog, and I highly encourage you to as well. This was a delicious recipe. I think the only thing that I would change is I'd get like a stand mixer or a hand blender to do those egg whites, because doing it by hand was just too long of a process. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get to make some eggnog and enjoy it at home. This has been. Bye.